Travelers, Mark here with Wolf's Run, and today we're at Soldier Field in Chicago. And today we have for you are the Jones of going to a game at Soldier Field. So, if you're going to be coming here for a game, don't forget your timing because the tailgate festivities start four hours before game time. And they kind of close out the uh, tailgating area two hours after the game. So make sure you plan accordingly because as you can see, the stadium is going to be closed in about eight minutes, so we got to get out of here. So remember that, okay? Now, another don't I have for you when you come here to Soldier Field is don't forget to tailgate because it's not as much fun eating and drinking in the stadium as it is outside of the stadium. So get your fun on before you come in. Now, another thing I want to say is don't worry, you can have some of the local specialties here in Chicago. If you want your Italian beef, or if you want some of the other good stuff, you can find it around the stadium. But you gotta realize is that the really good fun stuff is actually at the pregame when you go tailgating. So don't pass that up because that's one of the best parts of coming here to Chicago to watch a game. One of the nice parts about coming to Soldier Field for a game is that you don't have to worry if you're an opposing team, if you cheer for them. The people are pretty cool with it because they know the Bears haven't been good for a while, so they're pretty cool with it, unless you're a Packer fan. And if you're a Packer fan, go to hell, because don't nobody like you, Packer fans. So they have that, but overall, it is a pretty family-friendly experience, so just be aware of that. So one thing I have to say is, don't be surprised if the Bears clinch a victory out of the jaws of defeat, but also don't be surprised if the Bears clinch a defeat from the jaws of victory because that does happen here sometimes. One of the things I like about coming to Soldier Field is don't miss out on the Chicago specialties when you're here because depending where you're sitting in the stadium, you can actually get a lot of the Chicago specialties. You want to get a gyro that reminds you of Greek town, you can get that. You want to get a Polish sausage, you can get that. There's so many great things that's truly Chicago you can get with the food. You can get that when you're here. So. Don't feel you're going to miss out of that Chicago specialty when you are here. One, don't I have to have you all that great local beer here in Chicago? Don't expect to get it everywhere. You can get it some of the craft beer things, but if you're going to be walking around and grabbing it from one of these or the beer vendors, it's going to be more macro brews, not the Chicago style beer. So just have a heads up. Hey, don't bring your cash. This is a cashless place. Use your card. Have, have a chip, be able to tap, be able to swipe, whatever you do other than cash. You want the beer? You don't bring the cash. So I gotta tell you, don't expect an easy drive in coming from the south. One of my students even told me that. Don't come from Roosevelt, come in from the south when you're coming in and realize that the parking is color coded. So you want to have the right color pass. So pay attention when you're coming in. And I gotta tell you, don't expect really a fun time parking when you're coming to the game. If you're not gonna get a parking pass, you might be better off parking up by the Art Institute of Chicago, parking there and just walking down. That might be a better bet than trying to find a last minute place nearby. Yes, you can do a last minute nearby cash thing, but a lot of stuff's already prepaid so you can't get in. So do be aware of that. So don't forget, if you're gonna come in here, you don't have to drive in. You can take public transportation. And if you're looking to take the CTA line, you can take the red, orange, or green line to the Roosevelt stop, and you can come here. You gotta walk a little bit, but it's not too bad. Also, you can take the 128 bus from Union Station down to here to Soldier Field, so you can do that. There's also a bus that goes from the CTA stop to here at Soldier Field as well, so you have that. But there are some ways that you don't have to walk, you don't have to drive, you would take public transportation to get down here to the game. So I'm gonna tell you, if you're gonna to come to a Bears game, don't forget to bring layers. That wind off the lake is not fun. If you're gonna to go to the game in October or later, you need to have multiple layers so you don't freeze yourself, okay? So remember that, bring layers. Don't forget those layers. Also, if you're gonna come, don't forget, you can only bring in that clear bag when you're coming in. If you wanna bring a backpack, it's not gonna happen. You have to have a clear bag. Unless you have a small clutch, you can bring a small clutch, it's like four and a half inches by six and a half inches. You can bring that, but honestly, have a clear bag. Otherwise, 
forget about it when you're coming to the game, okay? And I gotta say, to finish off, no matter what happens in the game, I gotta tell you is don't expect an easy way to get out of the stadium. There's a lot of smaller doors when you come in, so that can be a bit frustrating. But if you're gonna park here, and you're gonna be parking and enjoying the atmosphere and the tailgating, getting out of the stadium, getting out of the parking lot, yeah, don't expect a fun time with that. It's gonna take some time. So do give yourself some time. Don't tell people, oh, I'll meet you a half an hour after the game because we're going to drive out and be home. It's not going to be that way, okay? So don't expect an easy way out when you're here at Soldier Field. So I hope this helps you know a bit of the don'ts of coming to Soldier Field to enjoy a Bears game. Yes, things haven't gone so well in the win-loss column for the Bears lately, but you can have a great time in the year. And don't forget to bring your family because it is much more of a family-friendly environment than some other stadiums around the country. So you can have a good time when you're here and bring your family, because even if they give some playful ribbing to the to the uh, opposing team, opposing players can have a good time here, their families can have a good time here, unless they're from Green Bay. Otherwise, they'll, they'll say some stuff about Green Bay that maybe you don't want the kids to hear. But I hope this helps you know a bit more of what to enjoy when you come to Soldier Field. We've had a great time at the game tonight, and I wish you have a great time too. Bye from here at Soldier Field.